Good evening. Today we're going to review about trigonometric equations. The objective is to solve trigonometric equations without using a calculator. The question you're going to solve are, the, are of the type find all the angles between 0 and 360 degrees which satisfy the equation 2 sine x equal root 3 or cosine of 2x plus 10 equal negative 1 over 2. The method we're using has five steps. The first is to find the domain of the function. So in the first type of question, 2 sine x equal root 3, we're going to have the domain given on the question. But on the second type of function, cosine of 2x plus 10, we need to find the domain of the function. It's not between 0 and 360. The second step is to find alpha. So you're finding alpha depending on what your function is equal to. Then we place alpha on the right quadrant find the angle on the domain that we found on the step one, and then we solve for x if needed. Let's solve this question. So for a, we have 2 sine x equal root 3. If we look at the first step, we need to find the domain. This domain is given on the question. We know that x is between 0 degree and 360 degree. To know whether the domain is on the question or not, you just look at what you have inside your equation. If you only have x, the domain is what we give you on the question. If you have more than x, then you need to find the domain. The second step is to find alpha. Here we have 2 sine x equal root 3, we can simplify that as sine x equal root 3 over 2. This is part of the value of sine that you need to know. Okay, so if you remember, sine of 60 degree equal root 3 over 2. So in that case, we get alpha equal 60 degrees. For the third step, we need to place our alpha on the right quadrant. For this, we just look at the sign of our sign. So here, root 3 over 2 is positive, and we know that sign is positive on quadrant 1 and on quadrant 2. So we can place on quadrant 1 alpha, and on quadrant 2 we place another alpha. The fourth step is just finding the angles which have an alpha of 60 degrees between 0 and 360 degrees. So between 0 and 360 degrees, we know that we have this angle which is 60 degrees, and we have this angle which is 60 degrees before 180, so that's 180 minus 60 degrees, 120 degrees. So here we can solve x equal 60 degrees and 120 degrees. In that case, we don't need the last step as we already have x. Let's look at the second question. Cosine of 2x plus 10 equal negative 1 over 2. When we do the first step, here the domain for x is 0 to 360, but the domain of the function cosine is not. So to solve that, we start by writing the domain of x between 0 and 360. Here we have 2x, so we multiply x by 2. So if x is between 0 and 360, you multiply every value by 2. So 0 times 2 is 0, and 360 times 2 is 720. Finally, we add the plus 10, and we find that 2x plus 10 is between 10 degrees and 730 degrees. For the second step, we need to find alpha. We know that cosine of 2x plus 10 equals negative 1 over 2, but when we find alpha, we're going to ignore the negative we're going to think as if cosine is equal 1 over 2. We know that cosine of 60 degrees is equal to 1 over 2, so in that case, alpha is 60 degrees. 
For the next step, we need to place alpha on the right quadrant. For this, we notice that that cosine is negative. Cosine is negative in quadrant 2 and in quadrant 3. So we place alpha in quadrant 2 and alpha in quadrant 3. So alpha is still 60 degrees. And we notice that the domain starts at 10 degrees and finishes at 730. So we're not going to start at 0, but we start at 10 degrees. This doesn't change much. We continue, we look on the first circle, so here we have 120 degrees. You look at all the angles that have an alpha of 60 in quadrant 2 and quadrant 3. So we have 120 and 240 degrees. And we stop here. Now if you notice, the domain is not from 0 to 360, but from 10 to 730. So we're going to have more angles than that. So 120 degrees and 240 are the angle on the first circle. To find the angle on the second circle and more if you need, we simply add 360. So 120 plus 360, that's 480 degrees. 240 plus 360, that's 600 degrees. Okay, so we just add plus 360 and we check whether we are in the domain or not. So here we are still between 10 and 730 degrees, so we can continue. Next, if I continue to add 360 to 480, I'll get 840 degrees. 840 degrees is more than 730. We're not in the domain anymore, so we don't take that angle. In the end, we have four solutions. Okay, so now we can move on to the last step. We know that 2x plus 10 is equal to 120, 240, 480, and 600. So now we can solve for x. First step we do to solve for x is we subtract 10. So we get 2x equal 110 degrees, 230 degrees, 470 degrees, and 590 degrees. Second step we simply divide by 2. So x equal 55 degrees, 115 degrees. 235 degrees and 295 degrees. We have our final solution and we solve the equation.